Hey there, thank you so much for pressing play on this video. It's about a picture that I've taken, which I call Magpie Lane, and it's part of the Oxford print collection. I thought I'd just sort of talk about the photograph, what I like about it, and then the pictures I took before and after, and give you an idea of how it came to be. So this picture was taken in the end of 2014. Um, it's quite early in the morning, nine o'clock, not that early, I suppose. Um, and you can see on the ground, it's there's some nice reflections and it's a bit damp so it's been raining that always works really well with pictures um so it's very dark at the moment and we can see that through the uh, xf which is like the data recorded by the camera so it was one twenty fifth of a second which is very slow and then quite a high iso and it's with my 35 millimeter lens i've got quite a lot in focus and um, you can see that sort of in the fact that this is in focus and as we run back here so is the man so the depth of field would have been quite high and that would also result in a lower shutter speed. So um, this picture is of Magpie Lane and um, Oxford's full of these old little lanes, as you'd imagine being the fact that it's formed around 1400, so there, of course there are lots of buildings. For instance, this one actually behind you is St Mary uh, the Virgin and that's from around 1250 um, and, a, and a building stood on that site in the, in the 1000s. So... Um, what I really like about this picture is a few sort of objects that give it a lot of scale. It's quite narrow, it's quite a narrow picture. Um, you, you get that sense of narrowness and the fact that it tightens up as you walk down here. Um, I really like this lamp, I think it really works well with the picture, adds to it. I think this gentleman being here gives a real good sense of scale um, and with the height and the width. If he wasn't here, it wouldn't have been a very good photograph at all. There's typically a bike, as you would expect to see in, in Oxford. Um, another thing is this window here at St Mary the Virgin, it's just perfectly framed. Um, probably more by luck, than, <laughs> by luck than anything else. But you know, you make your own luck with photography. And I think that really, really works well. There's a nice range of tonalities from quite dark in this area. Sort of like you get U dark shape if you like and then basically what happens is the eye tends to travel towards what's brightest so you're, you're taken down this thin alleyway towards the guy and uh, and he's obviously walking towards us and then the main high street is behind here and fantastically no cars or anything were going by at the time of the taking so if we now look at the picture sort of immediately before and immediately after um, you can get an idea of how this picture ended up so the main way I end up um, here is when I work th walk through Christchurch um, Christchurch Park. So here we can see the rugby pitches at Christchurch. So there's a path that runs all the way around here and takes you back out um, along the high street. Now, if you ever walk around here, about here, which doesn't look like taking a picture of it, there's a lovely gate. And if you walk through there, you walk down through this lovely path. Um, so I've actually missed out quite a few pictures here on the walk nothing came <laughs> nothing came to mind and you end up on this lovely cobbled street um, just down here so from there i would then walk right onto um like the cobbled street and then left down this road here the old bank hotel is slightly to the right um and then afterwards i didn't take many pictures and i headed off towards um sort of new college and then obviously the bridge of size and then um to my right is the bodleian library um so i took a few here Always unusual seeing, you know, a bit, bit. <laughs> when obviously this bridge was built, um, like uh, bin lorries and collection lorries didn't really exist. Um, so I find I like sort of juxtaposing those things together, but often it doesn't work and it never works well for an art photograph either. And then I just carried on wandering through Oxford, taking pictures as I went. Um, so it was a good day. I took uh, 70 photographs in total, um, but definitely the best one um, is of Magpie Lane. Really nice light. Love the reflections. I think it gives a sense of Oxford that most people don't see. So great if you've lived there and got experience of the place. I think it'll look great on your wall. And thank you for watching. I hope it's been interesting. Cheers. Bye.